In this video, we're going to look at the additive counting principle. We've looked at the sequential counting principle, and we've looked at the complementary counting principle. And now we'll come to the third one, the additive counting principle. And it works in the premises, premise of an idea we used earlier, which was the number of elements in A union B sets was equal to the number of elements in A plus the number of elements in B minus the number of elements that were in both of them. I'll tell you how many was in the union. So let's use that idea. How many elements are there in A? Multiples of two. Let's use our sequential counting principle for this. So it would be two-digit number. The first digits could be one, two, three, or four, or five. So there's five first digits. The second or the ones place digit could be zero, two, four, six, or eight. So there's five there. So there's a total of 25 items in A, multiples of two in the first 50 counting numbers. How about the multiples of three? Well, every third number is a multiple of three. So how many groups of three are there in 50? There are a total of 16. So there's 16 in this one. So we're going to have, C 25 plus 16. Now we have to subtract the ones that are in both of those, both systems. And the even ones of those multiples of 3 would be half of this, because this includes both the odds and evens, and every other one is odd, every other one's even. So we're going to divide that by 2, and it will be 8 that will be in both. So what do we have? 25 plus 16 is equal to 41 minus 8. And there should be 33 numbers that are both multiples of 2 and multiples of 3 in the first 50 natural numbers. Hope this helps you with the idea of the additive counting principle. The number of elements in one plus the number of elements of, in the other minus the ones they have in common. And as always, have a very happy day.